Alright, so boys, welcome back to another video. Plenty of stuff to be talking about in today's video. If you haven't already made your first million coins, I will be showing you step by step what you need to do, what players you need to buy and what players you need to sell for the exact price. So of course, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. Drop a like, do subscribe if you are new, you do help my channel grow and let's get in the video. All right, so boys, let me show you how you can turn 50,000 coins, 100K, 300K into a million coins in a few days. If you're familiar with my channel, you would know 82 rated lazy selling method works very, very well. For the people that are new, of course, drop a like and subscribe. Let me show you how this method works. You can see in the background, put the exact filter quality, gold rare, minimum price 750, maximum price, I'll put this around 800 and minimum buy now, I'll put this at 900 coins. Once you've done that, click search and you're gonna see a bunch of 82 rated cards. All you wanna do is literally bid on as many 82s you can see. A prime example, 82 rated card, just lazy sold for 1.8K. And you wanna go around and literally bid on as many 82s, 750 coins to 800 coins max, boys. All right, so let me show you, I did manage to win, I think, two cards on open bid from bidding on free cards. Like I said, bidding is very, very easy. You can see 800 coins and another card for 800 coins. Let's go on the market and have a look how much he's actually worth. And I'll tell you the exact price to lazy list this card. You can see right here, we're going to put 800, there's none. 850, there's none. 900, there's only one. And if we go to 950... There is about, again, not even a page. You can see a prime example. I literally did this live. I won bids for 800, and the price you want to be lazy selling is about 1,000 to 1,100 coins. Will be very, very easy to sell, as of course, there's barely any supply for 950 coins. Like I said, boys, it's so, so easy to make coins. How this filter works is very simple. The more cards you have lazy selling, the more profit you're going to make. If you have, again, 50 cards, lazy selling, and you're making around 400, 500 coins each, the profit adds up much quicker. The more cards you have, of course, if you have 10 cards and only 10 sell, the profit is only around 4,000 coins. If you have 50 cards, you can see the profit adds up even better. If you have 100 cards, of course, that is how you basically generate and you double your coins every single time your cards do sell. The filter, like I said, boys, is 750, 800 here, and 900 right here. And you want to bid on as many 82 rated cards, 750, 800, 750, 800. Always double check the price. And of course, lazy sell 1,000 to 1,200 coins. And you want to be doing this every single hour and 45 minutes before content. List your cards up for lazy sales. And of course, at 6 p.m., 83 times 10 SBC does officially refresh. And you're going to get a bunch of sales. Keep doing this. If you have 50K, 100K, even a million coins, Stock up on 182s between 750 and 800 coins and keep lazy selling these cards every single hour. All right, so let me show you some of the bids I did manage to win at content today. Of course, plenty of packs every single hour, new packs in the store, flash SBCs, and that means, of course, supply hits the market. You can see some of the bids I did manage to win. 84s for like 1.7 to 2.2, very nice and simple bids. In my Discord, people, again, are winning 88 for 7k, 86s for like 5,000 coins, 85s, 3k, you can see examples in the background. Basically, boys, if you're not aware, I do have a premium trading Discord. How it works is very, very simple. You join a Discord, you go to flips, low budget, fodder investments, sniping filters, icon flips, and of course, flips overnight. And basically, boys, you buy the cards, we suggest and we tell you exactly when to sell. Some examples in the background, some flips we have done for the past week. It's very, very simple to understand. If you're new, if you're scared to invest, go to the low budget channel, buy the cards we say, and of course, list for the prices we suggest, and you're gonna get sales every single hour. Tonight, we're gonna do overnight flips, tomorrow, overnight flips, Sunday, overnight flips. Basically, if you're on the Discord and you're watching this video, make sure you watch the flips channel tonight. I'm gonna to post a massive list of players, you can see similar cards in the background. All you have to do, go to the market, you buy the cards, and you sell the cards in the morning for profit. And of course, instead of spending money on FIFA points, give my Discord a go. If you're not happy with the service, you can cancel at any time. I guarantee every single person joining in at least 1 million coins a month. And if you don't, drop me a DM and I will help you individually. The link will be down in the comments. 
£10 a month. If you're not happy, you can cancel at any time and give it a go. Follow my tips, follow my investments and make coins on the side. And you can sell your coins for cash as well if you do want to profit by being in a Discord. Let's get back to the video. All right, so let's talk about a potential gamble you can take if you have spare coins to lose. You want to buy a few Team of the Weeks. Let me try to explain how this works. Of course, every single day our content, Team of the Weeks tend to spike in price. Reason being, 83 times 10 SPC officially refreshes. Today we go an icon pack, which requires a team of the week, and of course, plenty of other SPCs do require informs. If tonight you see team of the week drop to about, I'll probably say, 37 to 39,000 coins, I would not mind picking up a few informs. Again, it's risky, but selling a content again should be very, very easy, especially if you lazy list your cards 45 minutes before content. Again. Today, we saw Inform the Ridge from Intel again spike from 38k to about 37,000 coins. I'm going to check his price right now, see how much he's actually going for. I'm going to guess it's about 41k. He's definitely dropped in price. No way he's still keeping his price. Again, he was 43. Yeah, he's actually still keeping his price a little bit. Around 42,000 coins he's selling instantly. Again, prime example, this card, our content, well, before content, was around 37 to 38 thousand coins keep an eye out for informs again new team of the weeks 85 plus rated informs if you see under 39k take the gamble pick up five pick up 10 and 45 minutes before content have these cards lazy listed three to seven thousand coins above the price what you initially bought for let me give you an example let's say someone called jimmy has 10 informative ridge for 39,000 coins I would personally list one card 43, one card 44, one card 45, one card 43.5, etc. Every single card at a different price, 45 minutes before content is very, very simple to understand. And you're going to get a lot of sales as, of course, 83 times 10 SPC does officially refresh. All right, so boys, Fodder did actually go up in price a decent amount with the icon pack. Should you sell? Should you take profit? What should you be doing? Let me try to go through each individual rating and again, you can make your choice. First of all, we have 85 rated cards. I suggested these yesterday and for the past week, 6,000 coins and under, you can see. They're up 900 coins. Again, lazy selling 7.1, 7.2, 7.3. Should be very, very easy. Again, if you want to be safe, you can take your profit on 85 rated cards. Next up, we have 86s. Once again, for the past few days, I have been saying 86s. Under 10,000 coins is a no-brainer. They will eventually rise in price. And you can see they're pushing 12,000 coins around 11.5k at the moment. Next up, we have 87s. Again, these are actually up 2,000 coins. Again, for the past few days, they were about 14k to 145 And I did say, guys, these are too low. They will eventually go up in price with a casino SBC. And of course, today we did get an icon pack. 16k, should you take profit in my opinion? If you did buy a 14,000 coins and under, you can take profit on 87s and you can reinvest tonight as we get daily packs or hourly packs every single hour. 100k packs, 200k packs, 500k packs again, getting on bids, snipes, take your profit and reinvest your coins into more fodder. And of course, final rating we do have is 88 rated cards. A lot of people started panic selling their 88s like oh my god they're never going to go up what should i do finally 88s are back up in price of 25k i did suggest them as well for 22k and under finally you can take profit on 88s if you do want to i do think every single rating in the background will keep rising in price but if i was you i would take profit and reinvest get on bids get on snipes as it's very very easy to get good deals Overall, fodder is nicely up in price. If you want to be safe and take profits, you can do that as well. A bit of a longer video than usual, boys. I had to cover fodder. I gave you an 82 mass bidding filter. And of course, if you do want to buy informs, you can do that as well, guys. If you want to join my Discord, the link will be down in the comments. As soon as you join, check the investments, flips, low budget. And of course, buy the cards we suggest for the prices I say. And we tell you exactly when to sell. Also, boys, if you do have 84s, they're pushing 3.7k. You can see in the background, I do have around 2 million coins. I already sold, well, lazy sold, 684s. And I do have 1,700 cards left to sell. I should be on about 8.5 million coins, maybe 9 mil, depending how much they rise in the following days. Drop a like, 
do subscribe, you do help my channel grow, and I'll see you boys tomorrow for another video.